Hi everyone, welcome back to David Lodge Academy and welcome back to introduction to programming using Java. Okay, now that we know how the do while works, uh, we are going to do a very small exercise. So using do while, create an algorithm that will accept two distinct numbers. So basically you're going to ask, hey, type first number and then type the second number. If the numbers are equal, print true. If not, print false. And then give an option to the player decide if he wants to continue the game or stop there after the result. So let's copy this and then I'm coming here, exercises, uh, I'll insert Java class, exercise do while 01. Then PSVM, press tab, and I will press Ctrl V to have the description right here. Okay, so using do while, we need to create an algorithm that will accept two distinct numbers. So we can start here, do, and then while, and we need a condition. So first we can work in the menu. First, the option should be displayed to the, the user. Basically, I'm going to start asking, uh, type the first number, type the second number, and then I'm going to give the result, and then I'm going to ask if uh, they want to continue or not. But I'm going to figure out how do I want the menu. So for example, we can use that same option, one to continue and two to, to stop the program. So let's do this. Let's create here a variable and uh, should continue. One, so basically one will continue. So I'm going to create the menu here, south one. Uh, would you like to continue? And then we press Ctrl D, Ctrl D, and then we put here one, yes, and here two, no. Okay, sounds pretty straightforward. So I would like to keep this while going on until should continue is equals to one. Then my column, right? So we kind of have the structure of our program. You can see that sometimes you can start from the end and then you move back and we need to change this option right here. So for example, I don't want to change right now. I don't want to create this scanner. I just want to see if it works. So I'm going to do the following. I will just have should continue equals to two or any other thing that the user might press. So control shift F10. You can see that here we have our menu. The program is not being executed anymore. So now we just have to apply the changes that we need. Let's create scanner, new scanner. So basically I just typed scanner and then when I get right here and I press, uh, I type new, I press scanner and then I press enter, system.in. Okay, so we have a way to get data from the, the users, press control alt L to format our code. And now what we have to do, we have to do what the exercise is asking. So basically we have to type here, salt, input the first number, and then input dot next int. This will be number one. And then salt, input the second number. And this will be Input dot next int out enter replace this variable. Uh, this will be number two. Okay, so we have number one and number two. Now, one interesting thing we have to print true or false if they are equal or not. You might think that here we should use if and else, but in this case, we just want to print if they are true or false. So, what we can do is this. I'm going to give a space here. South are the numbers equal. And then what I'm going to do is I will put a parenthesis and just do the comparison right here. So what's going to happen? It's going to get the first number, the second number, then it's going to print and it will do the comparison. So it will either print true or false. So there is no need for us to use 
if else statement once uh, we reach this line because we just want to get true or false back okay first part of the program is uh, almost done actually it's done we just need to make a little bit better the menu that we are going to show to the user and here is the same thing that we did before input dot next int so let's see how it works Control shift f10 so input the first number one input the second number two are the numbers equal no false so would you like to continue no i don't want to continue and then the program is finished now Control shift f10 one one would you like to continue yes input the first number two two would you like to continue no i don't want to continue so basically as you can see uh you can do this exactly with while as well this is not very very different from what we are doing here but the the thing that you have to remember about the do while is that it will be executed at least once it doesn't matter what until the condition is uh evaluated this will be at least run once uh, by the jvm okay so this is everything i wanted to tell you i hope you enjoyed see you in the next video bye bye